chili, vegan chili cheese fries. So we had a super nice time at EL Valley and Andrew's gonna make us a delicious dinner tonight of epic chili cheese fries. So good. But before I get into the recipe, I wanna tell you a little bit about Skillshare who I've partnered up with for this video. Oh, oh. Skillshare, ooh, my hair, ooh, my hair. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 19,000 classes in videography, productivity, photography, and more. I get asked all the time how I edit. So if you're interested in learning how to create and edit photos and videos, then Skillshare is the perfect place to go because they have specific classes for all different types of things you're looking to learn and grow in. One of the courses that I've been finding helpful is visual storytelling with Final Cut Pro. So you can go onto Skillshare, find the classes that are specific to what you want to learn about, and start learning. Skillshare is great for people who want to make their passion their full-time job for people who want to start their business or simply to progress in their own lives creatively. Hi Elvis. I can premium membership begins by ten dollars a month. There you go. Thank you Elvis. Premium membership begins around ten dollars a month but for the first 699 people to sign up with the link in the description get two months of Skillshare for free. These spots typically go quickly so make sure to get in there quick. All right, now we're gonna get into the recipe. It's a really good recipe, my kids love it. And actually, Andrew basically took a couple different components of recipes from our ebook, Epic Vegan Food. The chili is from the loaded baked potatoes recipe, and the nacho cheese is from our nachos recipe, and he put it together and created this whole new dish, and it's super delicious. So I'll put the directions and the exact measurements in the description box of the video so that you know exactly how to make the recipe. Hope you enjoy it. Like the recipe guys. Thanks for holding Scout while I finish the ad. And now time for the chili cheese fries. First you'll dice the carrots and potatoes for the nacho cheese sauce and boil in a medium pot. Then for the chili, dice the onion and garlic and saute in a large pot with a little water on medium heat. While those are cooking, preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and slice as many potato fries as you would like. We make three trays for our family. Thinly slice them to your desired thickness, sprinkle with black pepper and garlic powder, and place in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how thick you cut the potatoes. Be sure to rotate the trays so they all get crispy on top. While the potatoes are cooking, prepare the chili. Dice the carrots, celery, and bell pepper and add to the large pot with garlic and onions. Add in as much water as you need to keep the vegetables from sticking to the pan. Then add the strained tomatoes, spices, tomato paste, and beans and stir together on medium heat. Then let simmer in the pot on low heat. Next, blend the nacho cheese sauce. Drain the boiling carrots and potatoes and place in your high speed blender like the Vitamix. Hi. What you doing? I get my helmet. <laughs> you need to put your helmet on, Sandy. <laughs> Next, add in the cashews, jalapeno, bell pepper, nutritional yeast, water, garlic powder, lemon juice, and sea salt and blend until completely smooth and cheesy. Once the potatoes are finished baking in the oven, load them up with the chili, nacho cheese, and toppings of choice. We like to add diced onion and pickled jalapeno. This dinner is so delicious, and even though it looks like an indulgence, it's made of nourishing whole plant foods. Let me know if you try out the recipe and how you like it. For more delicious vegan recipes like this, you can check out my ebooks and blog at ellenfisher.com or the links in the description box below. Love you guys and stay tuned for the next video.